Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and we're doing a Teddy Blake video. We haven't done one of these in a long time. I've been kind of quiet about Teddy Blake, but y'all already know how I feel about Teddy Blake. I've worked with them numerous times in the past and over the past what, three or so years, maybe four, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, Teddy Blake is a handbag line, which is a luxury handbag line, but you don't pay luxury prices, okay? I find myself recently like doing a lot of editing like at coffee shops or getting outside the house, going to the library a lot. And I was like, I want a bag. I want a tote bag that's still a luxury bag, but doesn't have like the logos across it. It's not like in your face, but it still screams like elegance and refinement and just beauty, right? So I chose this bag. It is the Vanessa bag. It is a beautiful chocolate brown leather 14 inch bag. Y'all, this bag is beautiful. The inside has suede interior that is just buttery smooth. I am obsessed with this bag. I love the size of it, the length of the bag, the handles of the bag are very sturdy. They're not floppy or whatever. When I think of the bag itself, I say it's in a class of medium for me, right? So it's not floppy and flimsy, but yet still the leather is like has this buttery smoothness to it. But then on the other hand, it's still a little stiff and it stands up on its own. So I love that for this bag. It does have feet at the bottom. So listen, when it comes to tote bags, <laughs> I love a tote bag with feet. I never understand when you get a bag and it doesn't have feet at the bottom and you pay so much money for them. It's just ridiculous to me. But I love these gold feet at the bottom so I can set them on a the table or wherever. I love it. So anyway, this bag does come with a strap and the strap is quite thin for me for the heaviness of this bag. So I plan on using it as a tote bag, not just an everyday handbag. And so for that, I probably would purchase a heavier strap from um, Teddy Blake. All right, so you saw the close up of the bag. We're gonna talk about it. It does come with a dust bag. So if you're into dust bags, you will have a dust bag for your bag for storage or for like travel or whatever. I keep these dust bags. I use them when we travel and put shoes in them and whatnot. But it's good to have a bag to keep your bags free from dust and particles or whatever. So this is her. Look how beautiful brown this bag is. This is so beautiful. So this is what I mean by structure. But over time, I think the bag will relax some because of the leather. It reminds me of Togo leather. I don't know what type of leather this is. But it's a really nice luxury leather. The inside, like I said, has that suede interior, but it actually matches the brown. So it's not that the bag like I've had in the past where it's like black on the outside and that electric blue on the inside. This is just a like a monotone bag. Really nice structure bag for work for sure. It does come with this clasp right here. So if you want to clasp and keep your handles together because it doesn't have the main zipper, like um it doesn't have a zipper closure to keep the entire bag closed. It does have this clip right here. So you can just put this clip on, close it, and it will keep your handles together. Um, what's in here? I have stuff in here. I wanted to pull some notes on the back to see if I can see what type of leather this is on the description. It just says made in Italy. It is pomelato crust. Semi-rigid texture, calfskin leather, real suede interior with gold tone hardware. This leather is so good. <laughs> this leather is so good. All right, so this is a really nice structured leather bag. Great for tote carrying. Like I said, this strap is kind of slim for tote carrying. But if, it, if you don't put a lot in your bag, and this is just your everyday bag, I can see you wearing this like, crossbody because it does have the... Um, adjustment on the strap so you can make it longer but for, for me it's basically going to be like a tablet my laptop maybe a agenda book something like that my pens my little wallet and call it a day so yeah that's what I'm going to use this for for sure so speaking of wallets their wallets are actually on sale they have up to 90% off of their uh, handbags <laughs> right now on sale there's a cute little pink bag on there that I'm really thinking about getting as a um, Christmas gift. Yeah, they have a ton of bags. All that summer, spring like collection with the, it's like a texture material with the leather like piping or detail on the side of the bags. All those are on sale. It's crazy. 
But yeah, I'm thinking about getting a pink wallet. I'll put it here. I like the size of the wallet. I like it has a zipper in the middle, enough card slots for sure. And it would match the, the leather texture of a bag I already have. But I'm thinking about getting that in pink and then of course in brown. If you want to just keep your wallet like secure, you can put it here in the middle. So if someone goes to like dig into your handbag, it doesn't matter because baby, this will be secured basically. Okay, so this is what this looks like now. Of course, this bag is 14 inches, so it's going to definitely take a tablet. This is a Galaxy, um, what is this? Samsung Galaxy tablet. But this is the size of the larger iPad for sure, and it just fits like with no problem. We already know this. I mean, this is like a no brainer, right? I also have a yoga tablet, and I want to say my yoga tablet is 15 inches. I want to say it's 15. Does it say it on the back? It probably does, but the writing is so small. I don't think it's 13. I don't think this is 13. Maybe it's 13. I don't know. But this is a like a normal size laptop, right? And so I'm just going to slide this in here. And it fits in this bag with no problem. You see that? It just slides right in. And these are the, I don't know if I showed you how to post the D-rings on the handbag where the strap attaches to that's the d-rings right there on both sides but yeah so once i put my laptop in it's heavy this bag is heavy this is why i say i can't use a skinny strap um as a uh, crossbody because of the bag is fully leathered right with that suede interior it already has weight to it so so overall what do i think about the handbag i love this bag it's so nice it's so nice it's so yeah it's definitely a business bag. It is a businesswoman bag. It is a nice upgrade to what I was using. So on the side of this bag, it does have these snaps right here so you can close it and pinch it. It's just more like this bag, but if you are going to use it as a tote like I am, I mean, you can just leave it open for more space. It still has this, it still is pinched in because of the structure of the bag. Let me show you. So the actual pinch come from it being attached to that middle piece right there. So it already has that anyway. I just leave it open because of how much stuff I'm actually putting in this bag. So I've worn this bag twice and it's just literally was like this. And I just wore it like in and out of where I was going for editing purposes. I was just sitting somewhere quiet. I wore it to the library once and to the coffee shop. Not a shoulder strap girl at all. I'm definitely a top handle girl or a crossbody. But this is beautiful. This is lovely. This is their um, charm for the bag. It says um, Teddy Blake here. So this is beautiful. Y'all, I'm probably going to do a reel today too so y'all can see this. But I love this structure bag. It just feels good. And the smell is just amazing, okay? So I went to their website and I noticed there were so many new bags. There's so many new bags, beautiful bags, nice handbags. So Palomato, Palometto, I forget what it's called right here. It's my favorite handbag on the site, hands down. And then it's the backpack. I haven't seen the backpacks in a while. I don't know if they're going to bring them back or not, but I'm obsessed with my backpack. I still wear my backpack. And um, actually, I will share an update on my backpack. Just even though it's not on the website, we've had this one for, what, two years now. I wear this and Penny wears this. We both rotate this bag and this bag still looks brand new. It still looks brand new. We both wear this bag. I love this backpack. Y'all have seen me wear this many a times and yeah. That's how good the quality of leather is as well as their stitching. I haven't had no problems with zipper stitches, um, the snaps on the side of handbags. The straps, I haven't had any issues. So this is one of my first like mini bags. Yeah, I remember when I got this bag, it just took me down a rabbit hole of wanting like mini bags. But the crazy thing is, even though this is considered like a mini, look how deep this bag is. Like I literally can put um, my full size wallet in here, a full size wallet in here and it's still like a ton of room. You have room on each side. And yeah, so this is that orange color. Um, I don't know if it's eight inches or whatever. The mini bag for Teddy Blake. And once again, it has these snaps on the side. So you can snap them to make it like a smaller bag. I don't know why I like, the, like them open, but this is so stinking cute. I love this bag. But anyway, I wear this a lot as my pop of color. I probably should have bought a pink one by now or yeah. 
I think they had this pink and that pretty blue. They had the brown ones at one time. I know they had this in black because I had the large one in black, if y'all remember. And I let a friend of mine use it. And that was like four years ago. And she still wears that bag like almost every day. Whether it's a mini bag, a full-size bag, a crossbody bag, a backpack, or a tote bag, Teddy Black has you all covered on the luxury leather handbags for sure. That's it for me. I just wanted to stop in and share this handbag with you all to let you all know what it looks like. This is a Vanessa 14 and this is from Teddy Blake. And yeah, the quality is so is so good. I love Teddy Blake. I've worked with them for several years. I've never had an issue with any of their bags. Now granted, I have several bags to choose from, so I'm not wearing the same bag every day. But the structure of the bag, the quality of leather, um, it's superb in my opinion and I've had several bags for years and I have purchased a few things from Teddy Blake over the years and I've never had an issue so I feel like this can go both ways like this can be work appropriate right but it's also a really nice handbag for those who like the tote bag style so you don't have to just use this just for work right but it's a nice elegant more um, upscale bag when it comes to like um, tote bags for sure for work and carrying all your work needs so yeah definitely check it out I'll be buying the inserts for sure off of Amazon to keep my suede clean that's what I normally do with all my handbags I don't like to just throw stuff in bags I always have like these inserts I put in and you can just get the pocket inserts or just pockets so like for pins and stuff like that because I like to carry pins nail glue tweezers <laughs> y'all know I keep quite a bit in my bag if you have purchased a Teddy Blake um, in the past off of one of my recommendations or maybe for someone else, let us know down in the comment section what do you think about your handbag. Do you still have it? Let's get the conversation going. See y'all next video. Peace and blessings.